of the proteins in your body have to be made from a code? DNA. DNA has sections that don't seem to do anything and sections that code for protein. The short segments of DNA that contain the instructions for a single trait are called a gene. These genes, when wound up into chromosomes, can be located on different regions of the chromosome. This chromosome has darker bands to represent the areas where the genes are. We have tons of genes in all of our 46 chromosomes. Humans get 23 chromosomes from their mother and 23 chromosomes from their father, leaving the grand total of 46. These 23 chromosomes can be paired into homologous chromosomes, which are the same size and shape and carry the same type of information. They have the same kinds of genes, but they may have slight variations like blue eyes versus brown eyes. Sometimes recognizing homologous chromosomes can be tricky. I'm going to use two different colors to represent the chromosome you got from your mom and the chromosome you got from your dad. These are homologous chromosomes. But remember, before cell division of any kind can occur, a copy needs to be made. Once these chromosomes duplicate, they're still called a homologous pair, but there are four sister chromatids that, when separated, are four chromosomes. The centromere is the adhesion point for the sister chromatids. On this karyotype, we see the unduplicated chromosomes. The first 22 pairs of chromosomes are called autosomes, which can basically be best defined as all the chromosomes that aren't the sex chromosomes. The pairs of autosomes will carry similar information, unlike the sex chromosomes. Sex chromosomes are also called allosomes, and humans have one pair, the 23rd pair. You can tell males from females by the allosomes. A male will have an X chromosome and a small Y chromosome, but a female will have two X chromosomes of the same size. Thanks for watching this episode of Teacher's Pet. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Twitter at SciencePet.